The eye works like a camera. The lenses in the front focus the image on the retina, and the space in between is filled with a gel we call the vitreous. When we're born, that gel is very dense, basically solid, and it occupies all the available space inside the eye. But it slowly becomes liquefied and eventually collapses and separates from the retina. In most patients, it separates throughout the retina and stays attached only at the front, right behind the lenses in what we call the vitreous base. In some cases, the vitreous is strongly attached at the center of the retina, an area known as the macula. And if it can detach easily from the macula, it can eventually start tearing it apart, even creating a macular hole. In some cases, this same process can take place in the periphery of the vitreous. In the peripheral retina, the retina is thinner, and if the vitreous can't easily separate from the retina, it can tear it. And that's what eventually leads in some cases to retinal attachments.